Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out one of the newer figures that's starting to trickle into Walmart stores now, that's where I found mine, I took one look and I thought, yeah, that, that looks pretty good actually in hand. So, this is Jim Gordon as Batman, and the head portraits are really what sold me on this figure. Jim Gordon is Batman, you say? Why? When did that ever happen? I saw the comments... Well, you're going to want to head to this website. It's called Google, google.com, and you're going to type in, Was Jim Gordon Ever Batman? Make sure to hit that Google search button. That's how you activate it. And in .45 seconds or less, you'll have about 18 billion search results. That'll tell you all about when Jim Gordon was Batman. And you can use this on anything. That's the beauty of Google. It literally answers every question you may have in seconds. <laughs> Use it! Anyways, back to the figure. Jim Gordon is Batman. It says Batman Endgame, just as an FYI. This is more of the super heavy storyline, but it's at the tail end of Endgame, so it's not really too far off. And here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and scan it in store. And like I said, mine came from Walmart. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. Straight from Batman Endgame slash Super Heavy, Jim Gordon as Batman. And while I got all you rookies here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. You get the idea by now. So, here's Jim Gordon, all out of the box. Tons of hands with this figure. You got pointing hands, you got thumbs up hands, you got gun holding hands, which does work because of one of his accessories. They made it work, we'll say, because they put a little bat grapnel on there. See, if you kind of... Put your thumb right there. That's the gun right there from Jim Gordon. Super heavy as Batman, yada yada. It's a nice, just simple silver paint job to it. But I guess if you want to go ahead and cut the tip off of that, well, you can go right ahead. Now, you do get this phenomenal Greg Capullo, Jim Gordon head portrait. Really, really like that. It's painted beautifully. It's just perfection. And I love the fact that there are extra hands and head portraits in the box. More of this, McFarlane Toys. People will be stoked. With the actual figure, you get a really nice looking Batman head portrait. It's probably one of the best they've done. I'm not even joking, even though technically, yeah, that's Jim Gordon. Under the mask, they have reused the body. It's that teen Titans, teen buck body that's not really a team. It's like an adult, <laughs> if we're being honest. But it does work with this Jim Gordon. Now, I'm still not a fan of the diaper piece, but because the figure is black, it melds well with the figure. A bit. It's not crazy great, but it's a whole heck of a lot better. Plus, you have that belt, and it's nice and yellow. They painted all the buckles. You got a nice bat symbol on the chest. Like I said, the head portrait is great. You got the little symbol right there on one of his arms. It's only on one, so they nailed it. Peg holes... Yada, yada, you get the idea, you know the articulation by now. And there is a lot of it, but I love that you can simply swap the head portraits. So if you want to go masked or unmasked, it's really easy peasy. Yes, McFarlane Toys has gotten better at that. The original sort of figures, no, they were not easy. You needed hot water every single time. But we go ahead and get a trigger finger hand, put the gun in there. And I really do like this figure. I was surprised. It's one of those when I do those types of news videos where I go, I got to wait till I see it in hand and if you got a flight stand you can use that articulation and you can kick a riddler right in the face right it has nothing to do with the super heavy storyline but you get the idea but what's fun though is that i have the original mattel dc uc classics the rookie bot right or chappy <laughs> let's be honest it's chappy but this is how the old ones measure up to this new one so if you look at the head portraits yeah, that's a that's a definite upgrade, and I mean it should be. This is around seven, eight years old now, give or take, right? Including this figure, which is on the old DCUC Mattel Classics body. He loses the neck. That was always something I thought uh, was missing. 
But the costume is pretty good, more or less, right? You do have the gun. That's nice. It's an actual gun, and you can use it with this new Jim Gordon figure. So I definitely appreciate that. And just to show you the comparison between the two, yes, it's upgrades all around. I do like this new Jim Gordon as Batman. I did like this Batman back then, though. So it's all about, yeah tastes and changes and whatnot but the rookie bot this was the build a figure i always leave the head off because i like to swap the heads and everything else it's a whole heck of a lot easier you usually have to heat this thing up to get the head on but i love that without taking the armor off you can see the little bat symbol that's fun and of course the chest plate comes right off this was a great build a figure this was fantastic it was towards the tail end of mattel's run with the dc multiverse you got the gun you got these really cool legs and it's a great paint job and it's just very cool i really like this figure even though with the storyline and how it fits into continuity you just kind of roll your eyes and you go hey thanks snyder thanks capullo appreciate it <laughs> but i love that you can put the mcfarland head on there now it's not going to stay exactly on the ball joints but it will stay on there and it fits pretty well i think in scale right that looks pretty good i have to say nice and detailed on that head portrait neither of the mcfarland ones will actually stay on the ball peg they just kind of rest on there and go ahead and put the chest plate back on there and you can see how that looks and I gotta say, it looks pretty darn cool. I, I really like the way that this came out. Chest armor removed or otherwise, it's pretty fitting. And it's just a really cool addition to your collection. If the Batman Endgame, the whole super heavy, rookie bot, all that kind of stuff fits your needs, right? It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but for a reused body with a couple of new heads and accessories, not a bad looking figure. So... That will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, Jim Gordon as Batman from Endgame slash Super Heavy. Now I'm really hoping, I mean, I love this Mattel one, but I, I could see McFarlane doing something cool, right? Who knows? We'll see. Maybe, maybe a villain, right? That would be kind of cool to have Jim Gordon go up against Mr. Bloom. Who knows, right? Sky's the limit. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, sometimes an upgrade is necessary. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.